Good morning everyone, welcome back to another vlog. So as you can see, the cows have finally finished their grass. I think they're still like here and there is a little bit, but uh, so we need to feed them. Firstly, that's the most important thing today. And then I want to start cutting the far grass field and turn that into hay because we need more hay. Uh, we probably have to go buy some more mineral feed at some point because I see the last bag is now gone. And we, uh, I, yeah, we need to make sure that that keeps working. Right, and then the cows are all sleeping. Oi, wake up. It's breathing, so it should be okay. But yeah, they definitely uh, need to get the total mix rations in there. So that's what we're going to do now. That's our first port of call. And then we'll we'll go grab the... Well, we'll put the trailer back. And then we'll get the grass cut the other side. So, yeah. Um, firstly, let's hook up this trailer. I'm not sure how this trailer is going to tip. I don't know if it can tip sideways or not. I kind of think it should be able to. It might not, which means I'm going to have to try and reverse in there, which is not going to be easy. But I'm sure I can make it work somehow to be able to feed the cows. Otherwise, we might have to look at another trailer type. But hopefully not. Hopefully we're okay. Right, this is going to be pretty interesting reversing in there because you can't really see... I have a feeling I'm going to hit that pole. Yeah, I'm definitely going to hit that pole. All right, let's try this again. Nope. I think we're getting there. We're definitely in. There we go. Cool, that's filling. All right, and we've got about 30, 37,000 liters of this. So after this, we'll probably have about 25,000. I'm not sure what the capacity of that. So that's 27,000. Six, five. Ah, so maybe, maybe a little bit less. Yeah, so looking at about 27,000 left. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a quick look here. Ooh, it's a tight one but that's okay it works all right so there we go actually works fine just tip it in there and it works cool beans i don't know if it'll oh it does take it all Ooh, okay so we'll probably end up doing a couple runs of this uh will i be able to turn around like this should be able to just about Right, we're going to make sure we fill that thing as full as we can, which definitely means we need to get the hay going because um, we're going to be running out of total mix ration very quickly. Uh, I did not realize that that thing will be taken. I mean, it, it 10,000 liters, that will probably last us about two, three weeks maybe. But obviously we want to make sure that we, we've got as much as we need, as much as the cows need. Not we. I'm not eating that. <laughs> I think that would be disgusting. That is a pole. And there we go. We can actually see, just about see the corner. Just about. Um, we're going to be another 10,000 liters. So we're going to be around 17,000 liters with this and I think I think that trough takes about 17 16 maybe maybe a little bit more we're gonna just do a bit of a we're in a bit of an angle there so we're just gonna go around like this and start filling soon there we go oh cow's coming yeah okay well I guess we'll <laughs> We'll be doing another one. So we've got 17,000 liters in there now. We're probably going to have another, at least another, well, we'll have another full trailer. I don't know if that's going to be another full trailer into the trough. We'll have to wait and see. 
Right, that's good enough. There we go. Got some straw still left. We've got a little bit of silage left in that bunker there. Uh, hay is the biggest thing now. We do need hay. And then the other field, we could probably harvest that in the next couple of weeks. It's, it's harvestable now, but I just want to make sure it's that little bit more of growth. So we get a little bit more from it. And then we'll we'll get that done. We're not that worried about silage right now. We've still got a little bit in there. And like I said, this will probably last a little bit. This amount, I mean, 30,000 liters will last them for a while if we get all of... I mean, we could, could even potentially... Yeah, we might as well do another one. Hmm. Yeah. This isn't quite, quite full yet. Yeah, I think we should do... I think we're just going to use everything we've got. Put everything in there. And then we at least know they've got, you know, 30, 37,000 liters of food. That will last them quite a while. Ooh, I think we're going to hit that pole. No, we're good. And this won't fill the trailer. I think it's it was 37,000 looking at the gauge. And obviously that depends on how f how accurate the, the scale is. I think this uses a scale to measure. Just over 7,000, yeah. Okay, cool. I was right. This thing takes quite a lot of food, this trough, doesn't it? It's got quite a large capacity. Well, that's good. We want it that way. That way we don't have to necessarily fill the the trough, you know, all the time. You know, once once every two or three weeks should be enough. Should be good. Maybe even less than that. Obviously, we've only got 12 cows now, so that should last quite a while for 12 cows. If if we eventually get like 100 cows, you know, that, that's going to be become a not a problem, but that's definitely going to be... Um, getting emptied a lot quicker so we'll we'll uh we'll have to think about the system fluidity i guess when we get to that point righto that is now done we're pretty much just gonna keep doing work today we're gonna go get that field done now we're gonna start cutting the grass with that so i need to probably have to move see this one is ready to cut it's long enough to cut but i just it's not quite as long as this one here. I want it, I want it just that little bit longer. So I'll, I'm going to wait maybe another couple of weeks for it. And then once that's good to go, we'll, we'll cut it. Uh, that's the tether. Yeah, we're going to need that. First, let's hook up the mowers. There we go. Okay, and then that one. Obviously, I mean, you guys are probably like, yes, we know, we know, <laughs> we know how it works. But you've seen me cut grass so many times now. <laughs> but it is the uh, the process with cows, I guess, you know, it's one of those things we do. Anyway, right, I'm going to get the drone set up and do a quick time lapse when I knock, while I knock this field out. Probably not necessarily going to show you everything, because like I said, you have seen it all before. But I will show you as much as I can with regards to making the time work and also the battery and all that stuff of the drone. Because it's quite a lot to, done, to do, to get done. You know what I mean. Righto. That's going to be a time lapse for now. So sit back, relax and enjoy the ride.
All right, everyone. So we got, what's that? Six bales? One, two, three, four, five. That one's pretty much done. I think that might be done. Um, yeah, I think so. Hmm. I'm not sure. No, that one's not completely done. It's very close, but not quite done. Which means that we've got, what, one, two, three, four, five bales out of this field. Which is better than better than the previous one. We've got five straw bales now, which in the previous one we've only got we only got two. So we did we are doing better. Uh, still not great, but we are doing better, which is which is good. Essentially we got six, right? So that one's pretty much pretty close to, to six. Uh, it's almost a full bale. It's just not quite enough, which uh, means that once we do the silage, we'll probably use a little bit to get that done. So that's that's okay. Right, I'm gonna now quickly put this away, put it back in the in the shed, and then probably probably start loading this. To be honest, start start moving this towards the. Um, the oh, let me just unfold this or fold it. Sorry, um, towards the TMR mixer. Uh, so yeah, that's fair. that's good. We can we can start making food again and get the cow feed all ready. They st should start making milk in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I think TMR will be better. Uh, then grass. Grass was not, it's not really, really good for, for making milk, for lactating cows. So, oh, there's a pole there. So hopefully once, uh, while well, they are starting to eat the TMR now, they will actually start producing milk and we can start making a little bit of money. I am, like, we're still good. No need to actually worry, but I do... Um, I do stress about it, <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get to that point where I am starting to stress about it, but we should be okay. We've got 75 grand still left, we should start making milk before, we start making money from the milk before that runs out. I uh, have moved some of the eggs, but I think, I think they've probably got a couple more, I'm just keeping it in there. You can put, I can put the eggs on there, but I try not to just because I feel like it's a bit better. Oh. Closer so the chickens don't go out. Um, so we've almost got a full pallet, and there's still there's still more there that I need to move in. So I'll do. I'd normally do that either at night or or in the morning before I actually start. You know when I get up. So I'll do that probably tonight. Uh, let's go grab the front loader and start moving these bales to. We'll probably put them all in the TMR mixer if we can. I don't think we'll be able to fit all of them in the TMR mixer, but. We should be able to get at least maybe two or three in there. I'm also going to just use the normal fork rather than the bale loader. Because this is, we don't care about these uh, the hay. If it was silage, then that's a different story. Uh, so we're just going to use the normal pallet fork. Because we can just stab them. I do probably, I probably should get a actual bale fork. That'll be better. Um, we could actually use a bale fork on the silage as well. It's not ideal, but we can, you know, especially, especially when, when the silage is still, or the, the, um, the wrapping is still fresh, we, we should be able to do that, but we're not going to worry about this, that now we've got the bail loader, the bail handler, sorry, that we can use for that. Let's just make sure we're good here. And I'm literally just going to run them to and fro. Like that. Let's go. 7,250 liters. It's a short enough distance, so I'm not that worried about... Ooh, whoa, I can't actually see where I'm going. <laughs> That's a bit dodgy. So I'm not worried about, like, taking a trailer, loading it all into the trailer, etc., etc. We're just gonna... We're just gonna do it this way. It's quicker. Oh, against the wall there. Actually, that'll work. There we go. First one in.
Alright, uh, and we're gonna... Oh, don't want to hit the lights. Level that out. I think it's level. Yeah, pretty much. We're just gonna pretty much just run straight into them. Like that. <laughs> I don't have time to mess around. We want to get this done. Uh, and then I will have to buy some more um, mineral feed. Probably will go do that at some point this afternoon. I might not just might not vlog that. It'll be it'll be quick and simple. I'm literally just gonna drive there, and get mineral feed. So I don't think I need to vlog that. Right, and I think we're going to do one more. We might be able to fit one more in there. <clears throat> the rest will just stack up. Uh, probably under the roof. It shouldn't be raining very soon or uh, in, in the next coming weeks. So it should be okay, but we're going to be safe. And uh, just put them under the roof un in the shed. Actually, you know what we could do? We could actually, potentially, put two down, or put one on top of the other. I'm not very good at the forklift, as you all are probably aware by now. So I'm going to do my best to not mess this up completely. All right. This is going to be interesting. No, I put it over. Can't see the other one. This is a problem. That might be it. Yeah, that's it. How oh, close? Oh, that's actually not bad. Make sure that one kind of lies on this one. All right, and we're not going to be ri driving very quickly or very fast now. We're just going to take it nice and slow. And then we'll come get this other one and put that in the in the TMR mixer thing. TMR mixer is probably the right word. I'm really struggling with like what to call things. Ooh, very close to that gate there. Right, we'll probably put this. We're not going to be planting anything soon, so we'll probably just put this here. Oh, I'm proud of that. I know it's a small thing, but I'm really proud of that. I think I did good. Let's go grab that last one, put that in there. We can maybe put the straw in there as well. We will, oh, obviously we'll get some straw once we harvest this, which will be in the next coming weeks. And once we've got that, we got chicken feed. Ooh, actually I need to check the chicken feed. I think we're still good. I feel like I saw, yeah, I did see some in there still. So we're still good for the chicken feed. And once we get that wheat, we'll, we'll be putting that in the chicken feed as well. Or well, that will be chicken feed. Ooh, that's right at the top. It should be okay. Let's just lift this up a bit more. And then we've got the straw from this. It's probably not going to be a lot of straw. Maybe one or two bales. I would be surprised, to be honest, if it is actually one or two bales. But hopefully we get a couple from that. And then we don't have to necessarily buy as much anymore. This will be a good indicator of whether we should be buying more land. I'm kind of inclined to think we will be buying more land. Just because 
I don't think this is going to be enough. Alright, we can leave that there. That's not the end of the world. It's kind of under a roof. Alrighty, put the front loader back. And that's actually going to be the end of this vlog, guys. I'm going to go do some admin for the rest of the day. And at some point during the afternoon, I'll go grab the um, mineral feed. At some point. But for now, that's going to be just me doing some admin in the office. Boring stuff. Uh, and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, please do smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. And I'll see you all in the next vlog. See ya.